Hi Aries, it's Power and Light here. I'm coming at you with a reading. This is what are their true intentions in love. It's going to be a relationship reading, but feel free to switch the characters. The whole reading could be vice versa, Aries. So this is going to be for you, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and your person. Show me the energy for Aries and their person, please. And we have mechanical habits. All right, and mechanical habits to me is that people are just kind of on autopilot. Uh, they are not necessarily, you know, so happy, but they are kind of on autopilot. They do the same thing. It can be about living a life of just routine, which is kind of boring, right? Kind of, yeah. And now we have the ego. All right. Um, and I feel like what this is saying is that, wow, and somebody is, you know, this little, uh, it's, I mean, it's not really a baby, but uh, not by the face, I don't think it is. But this man, this little short man here is or whoever this is, is kind of wrapped, swaddled up, like, by their ego, like, kind of, you know, stifled by their ego. Somebody has ego in the situation, and that is not helping. That could be too much pride, right? You know, you ruin the situation with too much pride. It could be ego of, you know, um, like a selfish ego. Ego can mean many, many things, and it can mean somebody who is basically, uh, their whole life is, like, ego-driven, right? Maybe uh, about money, about anything, right? Like, oh, I live a great life with my person, although I love somebody else kind of energy or something like that. But, you know, we both have a lot of money together. Ego can mean many things, but it is <clears throat> usually kind of destructive, right? Yeah, it's, it's kind of, ego is a fine line. Like, you need your, of course, your ego is about you, and, you know, but if you have too much ego, then you are not kind of uh, dealing with dealing with any uh, situation kind of like with open eyes compassion and uh, there's it's selfish kind of that's really what it means okay so let's move this over here and let's have a really quick look on the mechanical habits uh, I just want to see what it has to say although I feel like I do and we are so thirsty for possession and so happy at every sign of attachment that we're even able to to feel something resembling pleasure in the constant repetition of a fever. Okay, yeah, it is saying you kind of, uh, like, kind of sideswiped here, or distracted here, I should say, right? Sidetracked, rather. Uh, yeah, because of maybe, you know, this can talk about possession. Yeah, an attachment here, this is like, this is kind of like not seeing things for the way they really are because of an attachment, a habit, the man is smoking a cigarette. Yeah. Mechanical habits prevent all communication with life. Yeah, they do. Wow. These habits are always incapable of replying to the situations that face your life. Habits are stagnant. And that's what I was saying. Yeah. Okay. So let's get into the reading, you guys. And uh, without further ado... And the ego, one quick one, bear in mind that you have something inside you that is stronger and more divine than what generates passions and moves you like a puppet. Wow. We live enclosed in a covering. Fear dominates our idea of life. To be, we think we have to protect ourselves, and whatever evokes the death of our identity generates profound anxiety in us. Super deep. In this way, our life becomes rigid. It no longer flows. Remember, if you truly desire to live, you must be ready to die. Yeah, this is about, as I was saying, uh, this is a long subject a little bit, the ego. It is about, like, uh, not seeing things uh, that are kind of really important, kind of just living, uh, living and being controlled by your ego. Okay, let's get into the reading, you guys. Yeah, those cards are super deep. They are. Yeah, so let's see what we have. This is based on Japanese wisdom. And uh, they're saying the Zen. So I always thought Zen was Chinese. Let's look at your energy uh, right now, Aries. And you have the star card. This is the recent past, beg your pardon. The two of pentacles, the knight of pentacles, Aries, is the block for you. What you want, what you desire or hope for is the page of pentacles. What you fear or doubt is the four of swords. To be fearing you're going to recover a situation. I feel like you are, the block here is a Knight of Pentacles, so you could be wanting a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. We also see Aquarius energy in the recent past with the star, and your person's <coughs> past energy was the Tower, the Nine of Cups, 
the King of Cups reversed and the Emperor, and they have the Four of Cups. Okay. So the Emperor most likely is you. You're showing up in their desire or their hope position. They want to either rebuild with you or stay with you or be with you, right? And the Page of Pentacles is above it. We always look at uh, all the directions of the tarot for the complete puzzle. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles, King of Cups reversed here. In your person's block is the King of Cups reversed. Your person is, uh, you know, either uh, a Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn is blocking them, or uh, a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. So this looks like a third party, like, out the gate, right? Because Aries, this is not you, the Pentacles, nor the Cups. Let's look at the star card for you, past energy with the Empress. Which is next to the Two of Pentacles. I feel like you were thinking about uh, healing a situation with someone. Why is that? And somebody who could be an outside person, the Empress. Like the Mistress, the third party. Mm -hmm. The passionate other woman, the passionate uh, other man, the world card. Yeah, you were thinking of ending it with your person to have an empress. The knight of pentacles is blocking you, Aries. The six of wands showing up. And the king of swords. You have to make a decision here to do this. Yeah, you were thinking about doing it in the recent past. You're still thinking about it here. You can feel like the person, I feel like you're with somebody. You can feel like they are literally blocking you from your happiness. And let's get some cards on how you are both viewing the connection. You and your person. Keep in mind there's three people here. Show me the energy between Aries and their person. The Nine of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you are in a union right now, as I said. And there's somebody else that is on the outside that you are... Uh, really gravitating toward here. The Wheel of Fortune, maybe they could be Sagittarius, and the Page of Swords. So there could be a lot of people here. Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra, King of Swords. Scorpio is the world, and the Empress is Libra or, or Taurus. <clears throat> and then we have Aquarius here. <coughs> Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Yeah, with the King of Cups reversed. Mm-hmm. And I feel like you are both worried here. The Nine of Swords, you're worried because you... Wow, these are interesting reads. I feel like you're worried because you kind of want to be with somebody else. I feel like you're in a union right now, Aries, that is some type of union that is not like really based on like love and passion. It's more based on you've been with this person for a while, mechanical habits. Like, you know, you're used to doing it. You're used to this. You've been doing this a long time. I feel like that's the case. And there is ego here. And ego also has to do with fear. Yes, it does. <coughs> so let's see here. The Nine of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Page of Swords. This is how you're both viewing the connection. Somebody could th think that this person who, uh, your person could feel like whoever you really want to be with could be like fated for you. Wheel of Fortune. You're both worried here about the situation. That's what I'm thinking here with this Nine of Swords and the common energy, right? Shared energy. Page of Pentacles is... <clears throat> what you want, Aries, Five of Swords, Knight of Wands. So you want a new start with somebody that you're really seeing the value, like you're seeing, like, wow, you know, if I could be with this person, um, it would be just, you know, great for my life. But you're like, kind of like living a lie on some level over here. Yeah, you are, Aries. That's how I'm seeing this with the ego and the mechanical habits card. I feel like you want to take action, you want victory, and you want this new start. But the Five of Swords, you could feel defeated on some level. I feel like you want to defeat somebody here. I feel like you want to defeat your person. And the Four of Swords is your doubt or your fear with temperance. I feel like you are into a Sagittarius, Aries, or you could be dealing with one. 
there's a lot of signs here. So, you know, these are these are general reads, right? Yeah, so we can't always go, well, I heard, you know, I mean, it's just kind of how it is. And I feel like you are doubting you're going to uh, be able to recover a situation, possibly, and move forward. The Two of Wands, you could be doubting, like, that you're going to choose somebody here. That you're really going to make up your mind here. Because the block is the King of Swords, which can be making a decision. Your person's past energy is the tower. Six of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. I feel like your person was in the tower because they thought you were, you know, you wanted to, like, like they were dealing with, you know, like turmoil. Six of, six of Swords. I feel like in the past they were in the tower about, like, releasing themselves from this, like, getting to a, a more peaceful place in their life because of the situation. This could be saying that they actually left, Six of Swords, but I don't feel like your person left yet. Why is the Six of Swords there? Page of Cups. Yeah, they feel like you have a love offer for somebody else. Nine of Cups is in their current energy. This is Aries person's energy. This is Right below the Two of Pentacles, I feel like it is you, Aries, who really is going back and forth, uh, you know, juggling this thought to decide, to end the situation with your person, the world card, and their current energy is the Nine of Cups, the Chariot, and the Death card. They could be ending it with you right now because you are, like, uh, choosing this other person, Nine of Cups, or you're having victory with this other person, and the chariot card here is, you know, this could be definitely cancer. Your person could be a cancerian. Because right next door in the block is the king of cups reversed. Yeah, you are the person, two of pentacles, who's thinking about ending in here, most likely. Feel free still, however, to switch the reading. And the king of cups, let's see you guys, is reversed with the ten of cups for your person and the Page of Wands. Yeah, what's blocking them is a new path. I feel like it is a new path you want, the Page of Wands. I feel like you think this other person is your happily ever after. Yeah, this other person. The Emperor is... with the Lover's card and the Three of Pentacles reversed. This is what you what your person desires, I beg your pardon, they want you, they want you to choose them, they want you to leave the other person, three of pentacles, like stop, you know, end the third party, and they want to work on things with you, why is that three of pentacles there, two of swords, or at a stalemate about it, yeah, I, I was saying that, I don't feel like your person left, yet, the four of cups is what they, what they fear or doubt, the full card, and the Ace of Cups. Okay, they're fearing that you're going to reject them. And they're doubting they're going to have a, a new beginning or a new opportunity with you and love the Fool. They're fearing you're going to take a leap of faith, uh, Aries. And that is you as well. So we're going to find out all about your person in the extended. Yeah, this is going to be kind of, this is going to be interesting. And we're going to find out how they feel about you. And what they're hiding or what you don't know about them. Yeah, they are, I feel like they are... Uh, I feel like your person could be thinking of leaving. I feel like they don't really want it to end. But we're going to find out how they feel and uh, what they're hiding from you or what you don't know about them, what you should know about them, and also their true intentions. Yeah, over uh, in the extent that they're all super affordable. If you guys want to cross-watch them, we're going to kind of call your person out in a gentle way. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. If you need your own reading, it's always the best way.